you know, it sometimes feels like I've got as many different kinds of rechargeable batteries as I've got collets. And with batteries come chargers. And since chargers are always in the way, I want to make some sort of charging station. Sort of hang it on the wall, maybe with a shelf on it so I can recharge my USB devices as well, as well at the same time. I got this kind of little power supply board thing I can plug most of these into. Because most of them only need the little Euro plugs, not the full size ones. And leaves me space to add a few more later. Now I'm going to need some sort of a back plate. And looking through my wood collection, here's a nice bit of this stuff. It's kind of that high quality plywood, German Siebdruckplatte. I think it's used in the printing industry or something. Let's lay these out. These chargers are handy, they've got replaceable inserts. I'll probably chop this board down a bit, it doesn't need to be that big. However, I'm also sure that that's not the last set of chargers I ever buy. I'm sure some device is going to come up in the future that needs one, so let's leave a little extra space, maybe put an extra charger along the top. This was a good motivation to finally put all my lathe parts into these boxes to free up my woodshop table. So I've thrown a bit of bog on it, done a bit of sanding already, I'll just do a finished sand and it'll be ready for painting. Now on the one hand that sort of rustic, beaten up, sanded and bogged finish is kind of cool, but not cool enough that I want to look at every day so I'll paint it. Do you remember when aircraft used to be left unpainted? I think that was like the or the American Airlines livery, wasn't it, with the just the silver aluminium, bare aluminium finishes. I guess the main reason they did it was to save weight. The painting of a typical narrow body adds about a half a ton of weight. For those of you who are not familiar with the metric system, a half a ton in Imperial, it's about a half a ton. Yeah. Yeah, they had to stop doing that because they found too many corrosion problems. Nowadays, there's a maintenance requirement for all, at least for Boeings, and I'm sure it'll be the same for Airbus and Douglas. Uh, Douglas doesn't exist anymore. I'm sure it'll be the same for all Embraers. They're required to be painted to prevent corrosion. So which color? I really like black, but, well, 
corporate identity and all. I went to the art museum with Mrs. Rotary. Turns out I'm not the only person who likes Rail 6011 Reseda Green. I've never really done much painting with a roller, but I figure I'll give it a go, see what it looks like. This kind of reminds me of the old military saying, you know, if it moves, salute it, and if it doesn't, paint it green. Two days later. I guess I probably shouldn't have mixed both brush painting and roller painting, and I probably should have used a roller that didn't already have a lot of like stuff in it, but oh well. Made up a clamp strap. These ones are just going to get the Velcro treatment. Well there we go. It's worked out a bit bigger and a bit uglier than I expected, but I guess that's what my mum said about me too. So it gets all of this junk out of my way, gets it all off the bench, so yeah. I think I'll call that a finished project. Thanks for watching. See you next time.